What's up everybody, Redefine TV here, hitting you with another installment from our Seven Signs series. And today, I wanna talk about seven signs that y'all might be moving too fast. Because it's possible to love love. And you want to experience love so bad from a person that you'll overlook the red flags because this is possibly a candidate. Naive to the reality that you may not love them. You're just in love with the idea of being with them and them loving you. So let's talk about those seven signs. Number one, words of endearment. How are they already bae? How are they already boo? How are they already your man and y'all just met Tuesday? Y'all just went out for a cup of coffee. Y'all just was feeding the ducks and this already is your man? Words of endearment are basically saying this is mine. Y'all don't even really know each other yet. What's their middle name? You don't know his favorite color. You don't even know what high school he went to. What was the mascot? What college did he go to? What, was he, what did he major in? Do we have any brothers and sisters? What's their name? Words of endearment in the genesis of this relational context is a huge sign that y'all are moving too fast. Number two, mental weddings. Marrying them in your head will blind you to red flags. You will overlook all the indicators that God is trying to give you to reveal to you this is not me because in your heart and in your mind, you already said I do. You already have in your mind how your family is gonna respond when they meet him or when they meet her. You already have this mental wedding. And the reason some people stay in things that are toxic is because they already see them in the future. But if we be honest in the present, you suffering. How to overcome that? Cancel the wedding, the mental one. Cancel that, you don't even know them yet. Like I said, what's their middle name? Number three may come off as a surprise, but a sign that you're moving too fast is when you let feelings form. As a believer, I rest in this truth. It's dangerous to let feelings form without first seeing if God formed this. Because along the way, if you discover that this is not God's will, because you already have feelings for them, it's gonna be harder for you to end this relationship because you already got feelings for this person. You already caught feelings. The thing about feelings though, is feelings are fickle. You can't go off your feelings. You'll be feeling them in one moment and then the next moment you're not. This is why a lot of people get divorced. They say things like, we just fell out of love with each other. Falling out of love with your spouse is like selling your car because it ran out of gas. Just fill it back up. It is a feeling and feelings are fickle. You could feel some type of way about something that's not true. Have you ever thought yourself angry? Like you feel a certain type of way about something that you really don't know if it's true, but because you pondered and thought about it so much, you begin to feel some type of way because you were thinking some type of way? Feelings should never get in the driver's seat. You could feel some type of way about something that's not real and express how you feel on something that's not real and you could really mess up something that really is real because you were thinking something that wasn't real because you were following your feelings. Number four, an extension of delicate information. Why are you being vulnerable with this person? I mean, you telling them about your childhood trauma, you telling them your credit score, you telling them your address, you telling them your fears, your inadequacies, your imperfections. You don't know if you could trust this person with that valid information. They have not shown themselves to be trustworthy yet. Here again, here's that person that loves love so much. You're extending pertinent information to somebody who hasn't extended to you their confirmation. You don't know if God's in this person and you're gonna tell them all the stuff you're dealing with, all the issues in your heart, and you don't even know if this is the person that God has assigned for your life to be a life partner. That's dangerous. And if this is somebody the devil has sent, you just told me all your fears, all your inadequacies, you gave me ammunition. Don't. Don't do that. You don't wanna put yourself in a recovery season because you told somebody too much. Like sometimes be quiet, shut up. Even a fish possibly won't get caught if it keeps its mouth closed. That's too valuable. That's too valuable. Why you gave them a key to your place? You don't know them. You do not know them. What is their middle name? Five, you are unsure who sent this. You really don't know if this is God and you really don't know if this is the enemy. But if you continue to go along with this anyway, what this does is it positions your heart to marry them without confirmation from him. You really don't know if this is God. It's dangerous to let feelings form if you have not first been confirmed that God formed this. Because I'm a firm believer that all relationships fall in two categories. It's either a demonic distraction or a divine attachment. And until you know which one it is, demonic or divine, keep your, keep your guard up, guard your heart. What is their middle name? Six, this one's easy, sex. <laughs> yeah, like that is a covenant upgrade. Ooh, covenant upgrade. This means there's some things they should only get once they're in covenant. Break down covenant until you guys have said I do. 
not an engagement ring, not a promise ring. That's whack. I'm talking about actually dropping your last name and your last name is his last name where you guys are one flesh. Sex will cloud your judgment. It's not intimacy. It's not intimacy. It's not intimacy, it's sin. And it clouds your judgment and it makes you have the inability to perceive if this is God or if this is me or if this is the devil. Sex clouds your judgment. And you could end up marrying a person to recreate a sexual experience, but this wasn't a purposeful union. They made you feel good, but they're not good for your life. Everything that sounds good doesn't mean it's sound or it's good. Last sign that you're moving too fast might seem weird, but you haven't seen them under pressure. You haven't seen them under pressure. You haven't seen them under pressure, but you trust them with the pressures and the concerns of your heart. You really don't know a person until you've seen them angry and under pressure because what's on the inside of them will always come out under pressure. And until you have seen them under pressure, until they have experienced disappointment or something difficult, you really don't know the character of that person. So it would be wise to just watch and see how they handle pressure because you could be giving your valuable assets to somebody who can handle the pressures of life. It's Redefine TV, we redefine relationships righteously.